What is up everyone? This is totally random back here with another video. But anyway guys, all right, so um this is what I feel is going to happen. I feel that like X-Men Dark Phoenix is going to flop, especially here in the United States. As much as it pains me to say this, you know, it's just like reading the writing on the wall. He's heard about the reshoots and stuff and, you know, the reviews are out. It's at like what a 21% as of right now on Rotten Tomatoes. It could go up. Uh, though I'll quickly say, don't pay attention to that 21%. Look at the average rating because that tells you what people are actually feeling about the movie, the quality of the movie, which is mixed, honestly. It sounds like it's negative, full on negative with the Rotten Tomatoes, but it's mixed. And go to Metacritic. Don't don't even pay attention to Rotten Tomatoes. Go to Metacritic. Metacritic has it at like a 40, 50 something out of 100, which is mixed. It's mixed. It's not full on negative. If you want to look at negative, just go look at The Last Airbender. The Last Airbender has got like a 5% of Rotten Tomatoes, which is obviously terrible still, you know, but look at the average rating. The average rating is like a 2 out of 2 or 3-ish range out of 10. That's bad. That is bad. The Dark Phoenix is not bad. It's mixed. Um, but yeah, one thing this, they're trying to do the Dark Phoenix story from the comics, you know, Simon Kimberg, the director, he's been saying, you know, how we messed up with X-Men The Last Stand, so he's wanting to get it right with this. And frankly, I just never thought he was going to get it right. You know, he's, he's, this is his first movie that he's directing, but I just never felt that confidence in this guy, you know, because he's written bad movies and he's written good movies. He wrote the Pat, all the X-Men movies essentially to this point, you know, and you can see which one are bad, which one are good, you know, and this is the first time he's directing it. And... Frankly, I, as I said before, I just don't have any confidence in the guy as a director. I prefer, preferably would have liked Brian Singer to direct it because I, me personally, I liked X-Men or X-Men Apocalypse a lot. I liked X-Men Days of Future Past. I liked X-Men First Class. I like this new trilogy or the new, the newer movies from First Class onwards. I still don't get the hate for Apocalypse. I get Apocalypse is not the greatest villain, you know, but overall, I still like the movie a lot, a lot more than Days of Future Past. But the Dark Phoenix, uh, all indications, as I said, it just points like it's gonna flop. It's at a 50, people are saying 55 million opening weekend. Um, it's probably not gonna be that, to be honest. It's not gonna be 55. Uh, the Secret Life of Pets 2 is coming out. That's probably gonna make, take up the weekend. And on top of that, you still have Aladdin playing, which is doing, I guess, well. Surprisingly, it's the reviews because, you know, the narrative is already there that the movie's trash now. So uh, a lot of people are like, oh, I'll just wait for it to come out. And, and um, this, is the, this is the big point. Jennifer Lawrence and that whole ex-woman scene. Oh my goodness, why would you release that clip? Uh, it's gonna bring so much divisiveness, regardless of whether you're a feminist or not a feminist. It's just, it's gonna be so polarizing. Just look at the dislikes on that video. It's, I mean, if you haven't seen the clip, go watch it. It's, it's a perfectly fine scene until the last line. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. And by the way, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to ex-women. Where, Je where Jennifer Lawrence just, oh. Jennifer Lawrence go, or um, not Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Mystique goes off the rail, goes full on stupid, goes full SJW. She, I, I, I this is Simon Kimber, you, you should know. Okay, this isn't the MCU, this is Fox Marvel. This isn't the MCU. This is Fox Marvel. You do not have the power that the MCU has where they can do, you know, with Captain Marvel and all that and still make a billion dollars. You do not have that power. So don't put your politics in the movie by saying this stupid, stupid line. And I'm telling you, the whole two minute scene that they released on YouTube is fine up to that one freaking point where she says that dumbass line and you just lose everyone. Every, literally the comments are like, that was good until that line. It was good until that line. She literally just didn't have to say that line and it would've been fine. That's, lot, and then a lot of comments are like, I'll just wait for it to come out. I'll just wait. That doesn't do you any service, Fox. That doesn't do you any service. And, and now you're really, really giving Disney and the MCU 
a real big number major reason <laughs> for buying Fox now. It's like, yep, they're just gonna fix it and make it better now. You, people who have been supportive of you are just like, man, now you're really making a, now you're really backing the fact that Disney bought them. You know, now people, me personally, I liked the way it was to an extent. I just like the newer movies, you know, and I'm gonna miss that because now they're gonna marvelize it, add the jokes, the humor, the family, popcorn, flicks, audience, whatever to, and that's what I'm gonna miss. And it's, it's gonna become that generic stuff that we see with majority of the MCU movies. Not all of them, there are a lot of them out there, um, like the Infinity War, Endgame, um, the Winter Soldier, those are the rare, and me personally, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, that are diff don't follow the MCU sort of formula to an extent. But um, they're gonna now bring that in with the X-Men movies, and it's, I mean, <sighs> They have no plans as of right now for the X-Men, but, you know, a couple years from now, they're going to start fitting him in, along with Fantastic Four. I don't know what Deadpool... Deadpool... Ugh, that pisses me off. Deadpool, they, they can't make Deadpool like that, you know, because it's Disney. They, they You can't have a rated R. I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it, but we'll see. But with Dark Phoenix, you, the, you didn't have to bring that stupid clip in. That stupid, stupid... I'm telling you... It's so polarizing for people, you know, because the SJWs are going to be like, Yes! Amen! Praise that clip! Praise Jennifer Lawrence! Praise Simon Kimber for writing that! And then the rest of the audience are going to be like, What the f- I'm not going. I'm not going. The fact is, it's viral. A lot of people are seeing it over Twitter, social media. That's not- You want people to see stuff of your movie and like- But like it! Not send a message like, Don't watch our movie. We got the politics right here that you love to see in our movies, you know? And that this could, that's a that is a big reason why this movie is gonna flop. It's not gonna do well this weekend. You know, you have me who's been wanting this movie to succeed. I wanted to make a video talking saying specifically, go watch X Men Dark Phoenix because it's like the send off for this whole thing, the send off for the Fox movies. You know, it's kind of the way when a soccer player or a football player is playing his last game before he retires. You know, regardless of whether you hate the player or not, you go there, you watch the game. You know, you watch it on TV, and you see when the guy gets. In soccer, where he gets subbed off for a football, you know, after the game, you go to the fans, you give him... In, in football, or in soccer specifically, when the guy, he gets subbed off and everyone stands up and claps for him. That's what you're supposed to do for X-Men Dark Phoenix, because it's sort of a send-off for this. But now it's like, you people, you're just saying big middle finger to everyone and telling them, don't watch our movie, you know, it's filled with the stuff that uh, there's already controversy about throughout in like a lot of movies today. I'll still be seeing the movie, I hope. I have super low expectations for this movie. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm still gonna go see it. I still encourage everyone, regardless of the stupid shit that's been going on, that whoever the marketing team got that, whoever did that, ignore it. Just go watch it. Just just be happy for, you know, what they've done. X-Men sort of started us on this superhero movie genre back when they the first X-Men came out, you know, along with Spider-Man. Just, just be thankful, you know, for that's what started the Marvel sort of, not cinematic universe, but Marvel movies. Marvel Comics making their movies, you know, just go there and just be like, whatever, man, just per just be happy, you know, that's a send-off. That's my, that's my whole take on this and my message to you guys, you know, regardless of the stupidity that they, they are doing and, I mean, I don't know, but yeah, I, I, I have, I, <laughs> I, I don't know what I know what to expect with this movie, personally, you know, the whole buzz around it, the trailers, aren't that great. They're better than Captain Marvel trailers, but you remember, as I said before, you don't have the MCU formula with your movie. You don't have that, the fact that it ended with Endgame with teasing Captain Marvel. You know, you don't have that with the X-Men franchise. And, you know, a lot of people didn't like the Apocalypse, so you have that bad taste going in with this movie. So you had to give us a good trailer, which you didn't give us the greatest, you know, it's okay trailer. The international trailer was a lot better, which actually it did appeal to a lot of people in China, apparently. So if this movie does worldwide does well, which I still don't think it will, it's gonna be because of China. In China, it's gotta make at least 150 million, maybe 200 million to help with the total box office, because this movie is not gonna do well inside the US. You're gonna see a 50, 40 million opening weekend. It could be even lower, depending on how the movie actually turns out with the audiences. And next weekend, it's just gonna, it's gonna go down, which I'm sad to see. That's, that's what I think so far. Overall, I still think the movie's probably gonna flop. It's, it's gotta be like uh, a Venom situation here, which Venom had so much going for it, because it's a, an anti-superhero movie, essentially, in a way, about a villain, you know? And had Tom Hardy. In this movie, I mean, 
You have what, Sophie Turner? I mean, we have a bad taste in your mouth right now because of what Game of Thrones and everyone hated that. Uh, the rest of the cast, James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender. Yeah, you know, Jessica Chastain's a good actor, but none of them are like, oh, I'm gonna see that movie because of them, you know? But yeah, yeah guys, that's the video. Um, just wanted to give my two cents on that, you know, the whole debacle. I mean, it's crazy. I've seen so many channels all of a sudden just start talking about it, which just does not help it because there's a huge passionate fan base behind that, you know, with the Star Wars fans and with like geeks and gamers and all of them. You know, when they attack it, a lot of people won't go watch it. And, and the fact is, you you need all these people to come watch your movies because you don't have many people go to watch it as it is. So it would be helpful if you create some positive buzz around the movie. But you've created this negative, polarizing buzz. It's not going to help the movie at all. Uh, should not have. That scene should have been cut out of the movie. Hopefully, maybe it turns out to be a deleted scene. I don't know. I'll go see on Thursday night or Friday. I don't know when I'm going to see it. Uh, I, have to, I, I haven't decided yet what time yet. You know, maybe I'll go opening night. I went for opening night for Captain Marvel, which was like my first ever, which was a terrible decision because I almost fell asleep because the movie sucked. But uh, I don't, I don't think I'll fall. I think Dark Phoenix will be better than Captain Marvel, but that I don't know about how much. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts down below if you agree with me or not, or if your opinions about the whole video stuff that came out, or if you're like, no, that was a perfect video. That's a perfect example of what we need in today's society. You know, if you think that, write that down. I think it's stupid, but whatever. Our world's not is <laughs> becoming messy today. They still think that the feminism stuff and is what people want to see. Less men, more white males. No, people just want to see a good movie that where you can forget about the world essentially. Forget about your issues that are happening. Forget about work, college, school. Um, you know, having to, I don't know, go pick someone up essentially. Forgetting about the this the the, the the struggles of life. You know, that's what going to the movies about. You know, and if you. Come into the movie and bring the stuff that we don't want to see that reminds us exactly of what we're trying to forget. People aren't going to like it. But anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications. Otherwise, you won't get notified when I post a video. And that's really frustrating. Um, and until next time, guys, be amazing.